So, practicing rhythm bricks. I suggest you start by using your voice. I do this as well because honestly, using your voice is the shortest bridge between seeing information on the page or on a record and being able to do it. You're, you're putting it in your body, in your inner ear quickly by using your voice and then you can translate it to your instrument more easily. So we'll do this in a call and response format, meaning I'm going to sing one measure and you're gonna sing one measure back. I have an online metronome set up and I'll cue you as we go along. So we're gonna start with the one bars and we'll go through one, two, and three and so on and we'll proceed down the page. So, got it? Okay, let's go. Here goes the metronome. One, two, three, four. Here's number one, two, here we go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Number two, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Number three, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Number four, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Number five, da, 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 do, da. Da, 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 do, da. Number six, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Number seven, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Number eight, da, da. Da, da. Number one of the two bars. Da, 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 da. Now you. Number two, da, da, da. Da 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 da. Number three, da 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 do da. Number four, da 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 do da da. Number one of the four bar, da 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 da. Da 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 va do da. Number two da 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 do da 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 da. Nice. So you notice maybe that that last one, number two of the four bar bricks, has a pickup. I was a little bit late on that as well. I did one each of the two bar and four bar ones just to save time. You can rewind the video and do it again with me. You can, you can go back to just the two bars or the four bars, cycle back to one of them individually as you need. Now let's move on to playing the bricks on our instruments. So now that we have our instruments handy, what note do we play is a good question. We're going to play concert G, A for the B flats, E for the E flats, G for the concert instruments, uh, because it's the root or the key that we're in for four on six, and it's a way that we can easily tie in. We're going to be playing one note, one note for each of the exercises. It's going to be a lot of G, but again, the focus right now is the rhythms, not pitch. So here we go, starting the metronome. Starting with number one, just like the voice, I'll cue to you when we move on. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number five again. Number six. Number seven. 
number seven. Number eight. Number one of the two bar. Uh, a one, two, number one of two bar. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number one of the four bar. Number two. Great. Now, that was playing the bricks with our instruments. The next level would be combining phrases, choosing some to combine from one bar into two bars, or from two bars into four bars, or four bars into eight, or any combination. Again, these bricks can be used in multiple ways. They can be put together. They can be used to build something. Then I would suggest adding notes, like changing notes from just concert G to adding maybe concert G and B flat. <laughs> Number three. Again, number three. Etc. Etc. So, there's an example of how we can practice it using the metronome. Now that we've practiced the rhythm bricks with the metronome, the next step is to play it with a backing track, putting it into a musical context. At which point, two important questions come up. One, what rhythm do we play? And number two, what notes do we use to play them? Okay, let's answer that first. Choose one. The first one is what rhythm? Choose one. We'll choose, for the sake of this exercise, number four of the one bar exercise. We're gonna play number four, one bar of number four, followed by one bar of rest. So you'll find out how that sounds once we start. Uh, and we're gonna do it for the whole chorus. Now, what note should we play? Let's keep it really simple. We should always keep it as simple as possible to prove to ourselves that we can do something. Simplifying it if something is too complicated or making it more com complicated or adding complexity as it's comfortable. So we'll start really simple. We're starting with one bar of number four followed by a, beat, a bar of rest. And then what note we'll play when you have the solo, the chord changes is just play the letter you see at the beginning of each bar. So it's a one bar rhythm. For the first four bars, it's all G minor. So we'll play G concert for four bars. In bar five, where you see C minor, F7, that's concert, D minor for the, for the, for the B flats, and E minor for the E flats. Just play the first letter of the bar. So you'll play concert C for a full bar. You won't worry about the F7. So our rhythm is going to be number four of the one bars, alternating with a bar of rest. And then the note that we're gonna play is the root of the first chord in each measure. One note is to save time, I'm gonna do this at full tempo, which is about quarter note equals 220. But hopefully you'll get the idea and you'll remember that you can go into the settings to change the playback speed as you need to. You can play it back at three quarter speed, half speed, etc. Here we go. So here is number four, one bar, followed by a bar of rest, just playing the roots of each chord. <laughs> And there's the top of the form. So that was playing number four, alternating with a bar of rest through the chorus. 
Now, just to demonstrate how you can add on a brick to extend the rhythm, uh, let's add on number eight. So it'll be four and eight, and we'll play those without a bar of rest so that we'll keep the phrases even, because now adding four and eight, we now have a two bar phrase, and now we'll take, play a two bar phrase across each, uh, across the form, meaning it would be one, two, three, four. four. So now we're playing every bar. We have a couple beats rest at the end of our phrase, which is good, especially for horn players who need to breathe. But this should be a good example of how you can put some bricks together to customize your rhythms. The first two choruses of this play along are assuming you're playing the melody or the head to the song, but we're using it because it's got the count off. All right, so we could parse a little bit and see what happened in the turnaround of the last four bars, whether I played A, D versus E flat, D. Uh, the function of those are similar. That's maybe for another video. But there was a demonstration of putting two bricks together to make a two bar phrase that then when you repeat it becomes a four bar phrase. Again, this is an exercise to build rhythmic skill. What is a way that you could use these rhythm bricks to help build longer phrases or an entire solo? I'm curious, how might you use this activity on another tune or outside of this video? And that's it in a nutshell. That's how we practice rhythm bricks.